to another episode of Wheels Woodworking by Chad Wheels Palmer. Today, we're going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to be taking you guys on a shop tour. My shop is currently 19 feet wide by 48 feet long. So it goes this way. On the other side of the camera, I've got some other cool stuff. This is my main tool wall. Over here, I've got my Rikon bandsaw, my General International saw, my Steel City 8 inch joiner. I got my massive miter saw station in the back, and I got my lunchbox cleaner, and obviously, we need some good suction. And I mean, I got the dust collection, and it sucks, and I mean in a good way. But uh, yeah, welcome to my shop, and I'm excited to take you guys around each tool, tell you guys what I like, what I don't like, but uh, yeah. Overall, I kind of like it all. And this right here is my workbench. This is where you'll see me doing a lot of my filming. It is currently seven and a half feet long by two feet and a couple inches. I'm going to say about 26 inches wide. And uh, this design I actually got from Jay Bates watching one of his videos. And this thing is a workhorse. I've had it for about two years now. When it comes to some of my hand tools, um, this is my Stanley Sweetheart low angle jack plane. I actually love this. It, uh, it's my go-to for everything. And just got a little Graz uh, hand plane. And this was the first one I started out with. And as you guys seen in my drawer, I keep my fret saw with all my dovetail stuff. And for my dovetails, I use this Suzanne saw. It's, uh, love it. Got it from the Cat's Moses website. I can put links to these. And these are PEC Blenheim squares. They're awesome squares, but you get them for a huge discount when you find just little blemishes. The paint could be rubbed off. Everything, it's 100% completely square. Uh, Tay Tools actually sells those. That's another link I can put in below. And uh, yeah, this is just, I don't know, I just bought this, it was on sale. It's just a little woodpecker square. Came with a cool little kit, but this is a lot of the stuff that I use when I'm doing my dovetails. And uh, yeah, just wanted to quickly give you an insight of those. So over on this side of the wall is my miter saw station. Got this idea from Jay Bates originally. In my other shop, what was currently on that side of the wall, I'll quickly show you guys a peek of that after. I built another one. It was kind of just a knockoff, smaller version of this. but. Then when I moved into this side of the shop, I knew I wanted the ultimate miter. This side, usually when I bring boards and I put them down along here and cut them this side, I went ahead and put the Craig track in and it measures up to eight feet back that way. And I should mention that everything in my shop is set up to dust collection. And here I got two four inch ports just on the back of my miter saw. And also I have the plug in that goes into a shop vac as well. With both those hooked up, it works pretty good. This is where I keep just most of my sanding stuff. I got a Bosch palm sander, also have a DeWalt palm sander. In the bottom drawer, this is where I keep most of my dovetail stuff. And over on this side of my miter saw station is where I just keep a couple additional tools. In here, just got all my wrenches, just a socket set. Uh, I've got a circular saw in here, a Bosch one. I actually just recently bought this one. I was using a Milwaukee one. Great prior to that, but I don't know. I've done a couple cuts with this bad boy and it works awesome. And uh, every shop needs a fridge. Everyone needs a fridge. And uh, this is a custom design that I had done from uh, Guy Out in Langley, Evil Colors. Um, it was a raffle that I actually won from my best friend that passed away. So over here, I got my drill holder charger station. I don't know if you guys recently seen that video I made. It was about a week and a half ago now. If you haven't, go check it out. This thing is sturdy. This is my French cleat wall that I built for my clamp racks, my drill holder charger station. I got my Bessie clamps up here. I also got a couple over there. And over here, pipe clamps, just some other additional clamps. And down below here, I have all my little guys. As you guys have already noticed, I'm in a wheelchair. I can stand and walk a little bit, but I like to keep them low because those are the ones I find I'm going for the most. And then next, it's going to be the jointer. And what I have here is a Steel City 8-inch joiner. It's uh, 2 horsepower, or correction, 
three horsepower and it's run on 220 volt. This thing is a workhorse. It's awesome. And right here is my table saw. This and my workbench are the heart of my shop, I feel. It's where I spend the most time. And uh, this is a general international, two horsepower. Once again, I did a lot of research and I was looking around for a good table saw. And, you know, I was looking to spend a certain amount. And, you know, I emailed this guy, messaged him. He wasn't interested in my price. And, you know, I told him I was there and I was open when he was ready. And, you know, sure enough, he ended up getting back to me and I loaded up the trailer and drove two hours and uh, went and picked it up. I, I truly love this. I love general products. Um, and right here next to my table saw is the newest member of my shop. Love this thing. This is my Rikon bandsaw. It's the 14 inch 10, three, two, six, something, 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 something. I always forget uh, the names. And once again, I have no clue how companies come up with those names. It's crossed my mind on a few projects, but yeah, I've recently just got this a couple weeks back and I love it. It's uh, it's beautiful. It's, it's all I can say is it's beautiful. This thing seems to do everything I need it to. It is my dust collection. Um, two horsepower, yeah, this is two horsepower hooked up to 220 volt, and then I have it running that way, which goes to my miter saw station and also loops around and goes to my jointer, and then everything going this way goes to my lunch box planer and off to my table saw, then off to my band saw, what we're gonna be getting to. But uh, dust collection is something that is very important to me because let's face it, I don't know about you guys, but I wanna be doing this for a while. Now right back here, I got my 12 and a half inch DeWalt lunchbox planer. And you know what, this thing works awesome. Do I wish I had a bigger one? Absolutely, I would love to have an 18 or a 20 inch. Cause let's face it guys, inches matter. Get your mind out of the gutter. But yeah, it's uh, for what I'm currently doing, this works awesome. And just a few feet left of the bandsaw is my router table. Underneath here, I got a Bosch plunge router. It uh, does a great job. It's a beefy beast. Um, on top, the only thing I wish was different with this was that I, for the plate that goes in here, is I wish I had the adjustments to do it just to make slight up, to bring it up, to bring it down. I find it could be a pain in the butt with changing bits. Gotten it down to about two minutes, but overall it uh, does a great job. Oscillating slash belt sander. Um, I, I think this is an awesome tool. It's a bang for the buck. It's uh, easily changed. Like you quickly come in here, you just undo the bolt. Of course I got it cranked on there. And then I got my discs underneath here for my oscillating, pop that off and then boom, pop it on. Also beside each tool, I always have things to, uh, to take things off. So I got things beside each tool. I always have certain tools that I use the most. Just like above my router table, I got my router bits. I have my Allen keys to quickly undo that. But, and continuing down the tool wall, I don't know if you guys have noticed, I kind of got everything set up, all my main tools along this one wall, and then I just ran the dust collection all along it. Um, right beside it, I got my Delta 2000 series standing drill, and also I built this drill press table. I did not film this, I wish I would have filmed myself doing this, but uh, it's awesome. I got rocklers, wood holders to hold things down, Got my fence and it's, this thing's a beast. It's a 20 inch Delta 2000 series, um, has different variation motor speeds. And it's, it's another tool once again that I got for a steal. I was so in the top drawer, my toolbox here, I'm not gonna go through all the drawers. Um, in my top drawer is where I keep uh, my chisels. I like to have them close to the bench here because when I do dovetails or other things, yeah, and then in that drawer, this is kind of just catch-all Allen keys. This one, just extra stuff, some cheaper chisels if I need to knock something else down, and air gun. Yeah, nothing too special in these torque wrenches. Just And just on the other side of my workbench, this is just an additional bench that I have here. 
It's kind of become a catch-all for all my uh, stains and everything like that. Up top, I got my compressor. I like to keep it close to my bench. That way I just hook the hose up and it's right there. Um, every shot needs a stereo. Um, I wish I could say, <laughs> I wish I could say I got the best stereo, but I definitely don't. And yeah. So right here, just next to my stains and stuff is where I keep most of my broken down sheets of plywood. When I buy them, at, I just get them at my local hardware stores and stuff. I get them to break them down mostly. Cut them in half just makes it easier. But yeah, that's where I keep all my sheets. This is actually a farm table I'm in the middle of building here with X legs. Actually, I don't know if I should show you that. It's gonna be an upcoming video pretty quick here. But yeah, it's uh, <laughs> let's block it. No, it's uh, this area. And I believe everyone's shop kind of has a junk area and that has become this little corner. Yeah, and right here is the wood wall. This is where I just keep, you know, I got a lot of Pioneer. Down here is mostly 90% all my hardwoods. I have some Purple Heart. Just, I don't keep too much in stock, but uh, yeah. And then down here is just a bunch of additional hardwoods for boxes. Got tons of rails for, uh, making drawers, tons of drawer slides. Found a guy that ripped apart his kitchen and he sold me them all for a hundred bucks. I think I got like 40 or 50 different types and it was pretty cool. I just want to thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of Wheels Woodworking by Chad Wheels Palmer. I'm very blessed to take you guys on this tour today and I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I got to do it with you. I've received a couple emails in the last week or two since I started doing the YouTube videos, not so new to woodworking, but definitely new to making and editing and cutting and all this crazy stuff that goes on behind the scenes. So I would love to hear what I could do better, what you would like to change, but I just want to thank you guys for tuning in and uh, don't forget, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. It really does support us woodworkers when you guys do it and it means a lot. Until next time, thank you.